Okay, so this time we're gonna hop on the red line down to Pershing Square, and we're heading towards Grand Central Market. So we got off on Christian Square, we got off on the 4th Street exit, we're heading to Angel's Flight. East, half block right there, Angel Flight, right across the street, Grand Central Market. Not to mention, there's a park up there too, if you want to like sit, eat your lunch, and look over the city. Great view of the skyline up here. Buildings up here, the modern architecture, then you have a view of the older architecture right here. I've never actually been to the top here at Angel Flight. <laughs> so that was Angel Flights, and right across the street, directly across the street, we have Grand Central Market. All right, All right let's eat. Opened in 1917, Grand Central Market is an open-air market with over 38 different vendors. From fresh produce to a butcher, liquor store to pharmacist, florist to massages, Grand Central Market has it all. The main draw for us on this trip is the food. We were craving pupusas, so we decided to hit up Sarita's Pupuseria. The pupusas are handmade to order, and they have a variety of ingredients to choose from. The cheese or chicharron are highly recommended. These cooks bring the taste of El Salvador straight to you. The cabbage on the side is really good. It's refreshing. It gives you some texture, some crispness. Dude, we're done. I mean, I'm pretty full from that pupusa, but I think I'm gonna have to buckle down and eat some more. This is where I usually come when I'm in downtown for my tacos. Tacos Tumbra y Tomas are known for their marinade in large portions. It's a savory taco that can please even the biggest of appetites. 250 gets you one taco, but it's a taco the size of three. Just, just all the commotion in front of their window was enough to bring me over. If I see that many different people wanting to eat the tacos, I just I, I usually don't even order meat tacos, but I don't think very many tacos are compare. I think they've definitely got something, uh, I don't know if I'd say unique, but delicious. Across from the Grand Central Market is the famous Bradbury building. The building's old school. It's one of the oldest buildings and it's just beautiful inside. It looks very plain out here. It's the inside. Built in 1893, the Bradbury Building is a national historic landmark. Walking through the doors are like walking through a time machine. The brick, iron, marble, and polished wood make this building a sight to behold. Prominently featured in classic movies like Chinatown, Blade Runner, or the more recent 500 Days of Summer, the Bradbury stands out as one of LA's coolest buildings. Okay, so let's recap. All right, Grand Central Market, way too much stuff to stick into one episode, so make sure you check our blog for more details and information. Started out at Union Station. You take the red line or the purple line up to Christian Square. All right, and make sure you take the 4th Street exit so that it'll bring you right outside Angel Flight and Grand Central Market. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you'd like us to go to any other destination you have a suggestion for. We'll make it a stop. Give us a like if you like the video. All right, so uh, where do you want to go next?